Bum 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 The Peter Dislike Show Bum 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 I want to talk about a scam I fell for at my last job because I just averted, possibly averted, a similar scam at my current job. I was working at a tutoring center about a year ago and um, I, uh, was I was working Monday through Friday, but one Saturday I get a phone call. My colleague had some kind of emergency. I can't remember if it was he had COVID or that he had a, fam a family member who had a problem or something like that. And um, so I showed up to a different campus of the same uh, center, uh, which is a much longer commute, by the way. But that's fine. I'm thinking this is a one-time emergency. And this was last... Um, I want to say it was... Uh, oh, I remember. It, it was actually a November of 2022, a little over a year ago. I was getting ready to see a solar eclipse in... Uh, or lunar eclipse in... Uh, uh, I think later that month, November or December, I can't remember. And I remember thinking, I'm going to need to build up some favors for him to return. That's what I was thinking in my head. I'll, I'll get to some mistakes that I made uh, later in this video. But So I showed up on the Saturday, and I did really well with the students. It's nice to have new faces sometimes. After all, I had just moved to Phoenix, I was lonely, and that's another mistake I made. I, I showed my face that I was lonely and needed these new students, right? That's another mistake. I'll get to that in, in a second. And um, long story short, um, I get home on that Saturday. It's a, I think I worked two hours that Saturday, which is okay if it's a one-time emergency. It wouldn't be worthwhile to do every week because the other center is like 35 minutes away from me each way. And um, it, there's, it's not in a particular part of town that I would like to be in anyway. I mean, there's not nothing wrong with the part of town, but I don't have any social events over there. Nothing. It's just 35 minutes there, 35 minutes back, and the whole Saturday is shot, right? If, if Not only the whole Saturday, but the Friday night before that is kind of shot too, right? But if it's a one-time favor, I'm willing to do that. Okay, get that out of the way. Now, I get back to the center on Monday, and... Um, our, my boss sends a schedule by email every uh, Sunday night. And I noticed that he had signed me up for the following Saturday as well. I thought my colleague was still dealing with whatever situation he was dealing with. So the second Saturday, I really didn't speak up either. Because again, I, I, I kind of needed to save up a favor for uh, when uh, the lunar eclipse was going to come. Now, I made two mistakes there. Number one, I didn't even ask that, hey, I'm doing this because I want so-and-so favor, right? Number two, I, I kind of did it without any resistance, right? Um, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Anyways, so, so I worked the following week as well. My colleague's still away. And then the third Sunday came around. He still signed me up for the Saturday after that. And I asked my boss, hey, what's going on? And he says, you know what? The students really love you and all that. Now, my colleague had returned by this point. And he was upset about losing, I, I could tell he was upset about losing his Saturday shift. I mean, he didn't say it like that, but it created a wedge between the two of us. Now, I, I thought to myself, hey, this is not what I signed up for. I signed up for doing a favor on a partic one Saturday so that I could go see a lunar eclipse two months from now. I didn't sign up for coming here every Saturday, putting wear and tear on my car, spending a, a lot of time on the road and ruining my weekend and um and uh, creating conflict between myself and my colleague that's not what i signed up for that's why i call this a scam see the definition of scam is you get something that other than what you were promised right and um but um i learned the hard way to uh first of all one thing i learned is to try not to allow your boss to just email you stuff it's too impersonal. It's very easy to bring bad news in the email. Try to force it so that you're always talking about the schedule, right? So that's what I do at my current job. And second, I really should have spoken up about the um, favor I wanted. Okay, so two months go by. Now I actually wanted to go see the lunar eclipse, which everybody had knew not, known I had wanted to see. Now my boss says, come on, it's in the middle of the night. You can come the next day. You know, just get some sleep between. The yeah, right. It's hard to sleep when you know you only have three hours to sleep. And um, 
to, for him to, to decide how my body operates, it was very insulting. And so I, 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 I pretty much told him, all right, I'll, I'll give it a try. I can't promise. If I sleep in, that, that's too bad. I kind of said it that way. That time I actually did speak for myself a little bit. It turns out I did wake up in time, and but I was half asleep at the classroom. I, I didn't feel too badly after how they had treated me, but it created a lot of conflict for everybody involved. The kids had to deal with the adult drama of, of all this, of, uh, 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 of the favoritism and all that. Now where it really got insulting was at the beginning of 2023. See, we just had the Super Bowl. Remember, last year the Super Bowl was played in Phoenix. And I so badly wanted to leave the Phoenix area because I didn't want to deal with the traffic, right? Super Bowl was on Sunday. In an ideal world, I wish I could have left on Friday, gone to either Las Vegas or Albuquerque or anywhere else, right? Maybe even gone back to see my friends in Seattle and then uh, come back on a Tuesday after all the nonsense has died down, right? Um, but um, again, most of my colleagues didn't want to come. In fact, everybody took off the Monday because they wanted to drink on the Sunday. And so, uh, I mean, I, I'll put up with that. You know, after all, I, I, do, I, I, I do like that my colleagues are spending time with their families to watch the Super Bowl and all that. But then a couple weeks later, well, one of the players from that won last year and this year as well, his future girlfriend was performing in Prescott. And most of my students who are in middle high school, they wanted to go see her, obviously. And again, we only had six hours of appointments that week. None of my colleagues wanted to come because again, you got six hours of appointments. It's still, it's still a schedule, right? You still have to commute. You still have to put wear and tear on your car and all that. And you still are stuck in Phoenix, right? And so I worked those six hours. At the end of the, the week, I get a direct deposit of a two digit number and just really insulting. I wish I hadn't set up direct deposit. Had it been a physical check, I would have gone to my boss's desk and ripped the check in front of his face, especially with the students watching. And so, again, it's not a big deal that I fill in for these things, sporting events, concerts, I, I, none of that interests me. So it's not a big deal that I fill in for that. What is a big deal is what I don't get in return for that, right? So I've learned to put some resistance. Next time somebody says, hey, there's a concert and people are, are going away, uh, oh, I don't know if I could do it. I'll do it, but there's a lunar eclipse I want to see. And especially after I speak that out to then follow up with an email. This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum.